they have to really come up with more creativity, perhaps, than the smaller players. If this is a nice one off the glass, he's up high, throws it through with great authority. But again, they just don't have the ballet-like movements of a Michael Jordan or a Dominique Milton Wilkins. As you take another look at it, gets good height and throws it through with, with great force. And what? now... Greg Anderson who picked up a 42 so that is the highest score so far it's Anderson with 42 Kersey 41 Smith 40 Webb 34 and here is the defending champion Michael Jordan well the judges they got a lot of pressure on them. they got to come through with big scores for Jordan of course Jordan wants to put some pressure on everybody by trying to do something special right out of the gate Everybody in the stands flashing a 10. They had him up before he got there. <laughs> <There's> nine. <laughs> well, we go back and we'll take a look. And Jordan is saying, I got to put some pressure on. And, you know, again, you can't ever tell what he's going to do. He looked like he might have done a 360 or something, turned inside out, Michael kicks Jordan's his legs out, and the crowd responds. And only a 47, <laughs> the crowd not real happy with that. I'd tell you what, I couldn't do that one in my dreams. <laughs> Michael Jordan said that he hoped to get to the finals with a dunk that was not as spectacular as the one he wanted to pull out then. So he did get a 47. He is now the leader. Number two out of the five who have dunked so far is Greg Anderson with a 42. So that's what Drexler's looking at. Clyde from Portland. Well, that looked a lot like the dunk that Michael Jordan did, and he had a little more authority throwing it down through. However, still in the air he didn't take off out uh, as quite as far as Michael did so it didn't look quite as good but it's still a terrific dunk there he goes brings the legs up windmills it through and a very nice dunk by Clyde Drexler I would think that should put him in second place right now as we take another look at it looking good up get the legs up in the air get that flare to it you got to do something a little bit special and I like that one by Clyde and the thing that Jordan did was kick his legs out and we do hear now that 44 points have been awarded to Drexler. That puts him in second place. So Jordan with 47, Drexler with 44, Anderson with 42, Kersey with 41. So 41's the number here that Dominique needs to better in order to advance to the semifinal rounds. Dominique Wilkins from the Atlanta Hawks, the 1985 champion, 6'7", 200 pounds. Well, that'll draw a high score. I can tell you that right now. Now, we saw a reverse two-hander before, Steve, early in the competition, but not with the flair that Dominique just put on that or with the power. And the quickness. He exploded into that basket right down there. You'll take a look. Now, watch. I think what he does is really give it some juice. He cradles the ball, then spreads his legs out and really throws it down. That's a good pop for Wilkins. And a 49 for Dominique Wilkins to put him in first place. So it's Wilkins with 49, Jordan 47, Drexler 44, Anderson 42. Dominique Wilkins, he first dunked when he was a 5 foot 8 inch ninth grader. And now, Otis Smith. This is the second dunk of the first round. They will combine the two scores of this first round, pick the top four, and then advance. Now, Smith pulled out all stops on that one with a 360 and a two-hand hammer over the top. Again, it doesn't look perhaps as spectacular because the legs don't go out, but again, the difficulty is there when you take a look at the 360. He's right there over the top with two hands. And a 47 for Otis Smith to go with his 40. So he has 87 total on two dunks. I think it's tough to be the, one of the first competitors. The judges take a while to warm up, I think, as well. You've noticed that the scores have gotten a little bit higher as we've progressed in the competition. So Otis Smith, in case you're not real familiar with him, he was drafted by Denver, then sold to Golden State. He had arthroscopic surgery last year, didn't get to play much. Kersey with his second dunk. Yeah, the crowd didn't react real well to that, but that, that was a pretty nice move. But again, all of the flair and creativity was up high. He didn't do anything with the lower portion of his body. Here he goes and he jumps up, rocks it from the right side to the left side, throws it through with the left hand passing by. I mean, a, a pretty nice dunk. 
But again, his body's so straight, and it was all done with the hands and the arms, it wasn't well, noticeable. Score, 38. 38, and not a good score for Jerome Kersey, and added with his first round 41, he has 79. He's been saying, I can't believe it. <laughs> that was one of my tougher ones, and my score got worse, and he really didn't make a mistake. Well, the judging, very subjective, obviously. The judges, uh, most of them for sure know what they're doing. Johnny Green, Tom Hawkins, Randy Smith, Spud Webb didn't get the good bounce. And that's why I was talking about that dunk he did when he won the championship. Everything had to be perfect. And you can see how difficult it is to throw the ball in the air, have it land perfectly, and be able to finish off the dunk attempt. And remember, there was only one attempt for a replacement dunk in the first round. Spud had to replace his miss. When he went, he does not get a replacement there. So Spud Webb can get a maximum of five on a miss dunk from the judges but that'll virtually and almost certainly eliminate Spud, Webb, Spud Webb from the competition 18. so he gets 18 points well Rick you were right he had to have that perfect bounce and he was looking at it and the ball got a little bit too close to the basket and it hit the support so Spud is basically eliminated Spud the 1986 champion and I think uh, your your point Rick earlier was apparently right he, he did have a little problem with his knees as we or maybe in the first of his two in the first round. Here's Cadillac Anderson. Now he does have a replacement dunk coming, so he'll get to try that again. Now you know Larry Nance was a big guy. One of the things that Nance did to, to catch the judges, I dunked two balls at the same time. No other big guy seems to have uh, tried to do that. I see what I mean. Now a big man with his size doing that. I mean, it's a dunk, but it really isn't anything special. Now, again, if he was coming off a double screen on the baseline in a game, would look great. it would look a lot different. Yeah, we'd have oohs and ahs, but right here we get, well, all the little guys can do that, so Anderson's probably not going to get a very good score from the judges. And his score is a low 34 for Cadillac Anderson, which will give him 76. Now, the leader thus far with the total score is... Otis Smith with 87. Kersey is second with his 79. And here comes Michael Jordan. Jordan had a 47 on his first dunk. Needs 41 points on this to be first in this first round. He'll get more than 41. Now, see, again, that was very similar to the Dominique dunk. But again, the legs are out. He double clutches the ball. I mean, things that catch the eye of the judges. Watch it again. Here he takes off. Now watch, the legs are out in the air. He pulls them up. He spreads them out. Pulls it from down low, up high for the two-hand dunk. That is, that's an appealing dunk. And kind of leans his head out of the way to give the illusion. I'm really up there. Watch, see, he's looking, and he gets his head out of the way and throws it over the top. And the crowd has booed the 47 <laughs> that Jordan was awarded. He has two 47s for 94 points. Remember, there are seven competitors. Ron Harper had to drop out today because of a foot injury. Seven competitors. The top four will advance to the semifinals. And right now, it is Jordan Smith Kersey and Anderson with a 76. Clyde needs to do something special here. Again, it's a power windmill type of dunk. Let's see how the judges respond. Needs to beat a 76 to move into that top four. Well, I think he'll get a good score here. He won't get 47 or 48. I'd say around the 45 mark, but he comes in nicely. He'll turn sideways to the basket, takes off good distance away, and again, the legs, and then the big windmill, and throws it through. So uh, Clyde being a little bit more creative than he has been in the past. And he gets a 44. So Clyde Dreckler's 44 to go with his other 44 will give him 88 and put him in second place. It is as we go into the Dominique Wilkins dunk, Jordan, Drexler, Smith, and Kersey in that order. So now the number to beat is 79 for Wilkins to advance. Now that's a 360 with just a little authority, folks. And he does thing, it so effortlessly, Steve. That's what I was going to say. He does it so easy. You know, he just kind of walks his way in and then suddenly explodes and uh, goes into the air. And you'll see, well, let me see. I'll just take a little spin here and then watch the power. I think that's the most impressive thing about Dominique. He's got great jumping ability, great body control, but he also has tremendous Dominique power on the dunk. Here he goes up. Now watch the strength. He just takes 47. it and boom, he fires it through. And a 47 for Dominique Wilkins, and that's going to put him out front with a 96. So it's Wilkins 96, 
Jordan 94, Drexler 88, and Otis Smith 87. Bob, I'll say one thing. I think the judges doing a great job this year. They're not indiscriminately throwing out 50s like they've had in the past. The guys are going to really have to earn it, and they're saving their best for the next rounds. So.